with you guys how to de-bloat Windows 11. It's already started, a lot of people are already asking about de-bloating Windows 11 when it's not really fully officially released yet. So as you can see in Windows 11, it's much like Windows 10. It does have telemetry and some privacy settings that some people are concerned about. Me, myself, I can't really be bothered with doing all of the uh, de-bloating of these operating systems anymore because at the end of the day it's just telemetry and it goes back and there's other telemetry on other sites that's getting collected anyway so if you do want to de-bloat how can you do it well the de-bloat uh, script which is called windows 10 de-bloater you can download the zip file here like so it does still work it has a couple of little issues but for those people that do want to run it on their system you can do so you can see here how to run the Windows 10 Debloater script. It's made a lot more easier by just adding this code in PowerShell. I'll show you how to do it. Now, do I recommend you start debloating your Windows system? No, it's just not worth all the hassle of having breaking your operating system. But if you do want to go ahead, then you can copy this quick download link here. And then we can head over to PowerShell and I'll show you exactly uh, what to do here. So. Go to the search box and type PowerShell, preferably not in capital letters like I'm doing here, but it doesn't really matter. Run this as administrator and open up the PowerShell window. Once you've got PowerShell open, it should be running as administrator. Then you can paste in that command right here. It will go ahead and create a system restore point and the script will run and open up the Windows 10 debloater, as you can see here. Now you've got debloat options, registry changes, Cortana, Edge, Dark Theme, and other changes and fixes. The customize uh, block list here, this is allow and block list. You can customize this script the way you want by taking the ticks out or adding ticks in. This is a little bit more in depth and it's not for the faint hearted. So depending on whether you know how to do these or not, will determine on whether you should be using the customized block list. And then you can remove the uh, bloatware with the customized block list. Now, these areas here are pretty self-explanatory. You've got enable and disable. You've got Cortana, Edge PDF, and Dark Theme. Now, this is not really officially designed for Windows 11, but it does work with Windows 11 as it does with Windows 10. And you can click on these and you can see Cortana has now been disabled. You can start to uninstall OneDrive by clicking on this button here, just quickly show you, and it will go off and start to remove uh, OneDrive from the system if you don't use OneDrive. You've also got disable telemetry and tasks. This will do exactly what it says right here. You click on this and it'll go ahead and disable a bunch of telemetry and tasks in the task scheduler. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to run those or not. You can see here it's been successfully removed OneDrive. And it's going to go ahead and do some of the other things once you click on these like so. And it'll go off and do its thing. Now, remember, guys, when you're running these types of things, once you start committing to removing stuff, this is when you're going to end up breaking your system. If I had a pound for every time someone come on my Discord server, ask me how to fix certain stuff, then it's always related to either scripts or programs that are deleting and removing bloatware. So we've removed all the bloatware by clicking on remove all bloatware now. And you can see it's starting to go off in the background and do a bunch of stuff and remove a load of stuff from the computer. Now, the problem arises when people want to go and use a particular item, which this script has then removed from the PC and you'll get either restricted access. You can't do it. This is owned by your organization or something along those lines. You can remove bloatware registry keys by clicking on the remove bloatware registry keys. Why am I doing it on this system? Because this system is for tutorials and it doesn't really matter. I can reinstall Windows on here and it's not going to really bother me. But if this was on your main system and you have all your data on there and programs and you can't suddenly do a certain type of thing, then this is where these uh, bloatware removal scripts can be very dangerous. So be mindful about what you're actually trying to achieve here. It's not going to really change the performance on your system dramatically unless you've got a really old system. So you can see here, I'm going to go into the privacy uh, settings here and security. You can see here, you're going to see this here. 
So as you can see here, you're going to see your organization prevents sending optional diagnostic data to Microsoft. Now, if you're on the Windows Insider program, this is not a good thing, and this can mess up your system, especially if you're uh, doing Windows 11 through the Insider program. So running these scripts can uh, cause major problems with your PC. So if you're going to run something like this, make sure you understand what you're actually running and what it's actually changing, because this can literally mess up your computer and you're going to end up uh, coming onto my Discord server saying, oh, how do I uh, get this to work? Or oh, Windows updates doesn't work and things like that. And this is what these particular scripts do. They disable a lot of stuff and remove a lot of stuff. You can see here utilization and processes have been dropped a fair bit but it also causes problems for other areas when people want to say use the Windows Store and the Windows Store now has been removed or blocked. All scripts do different things, so you need to check the information on what that script actually does. Now, scripts can be very useful and save a lot of time. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't understand what a script actually does and what it's actually removing from a PC. So if you don't know how to read scripts or what's inside and what it's actually doing, then you can head over to the creator's website here and download it and open up the script in Notepad and take a look at what the actual script does. If this all is a bit too much for you and you don't understand it, then don't run it and leave it well alone. There's plenty of YouTube channels that will show how to run scripts, but obviously they're not there to educate you on what this script is actually doing. It's running a bunch of tasks in the background to remove certain features on Windows 10 or Windows 11, and you just need to be a bit mindful about what it's actually doing, okay? And that is why I say, if you're not familiar with scripts, then leave well alone, because you'll end up, uh, you know, bricking your operating system when you want to run something and you can't because that script has blocked it or it's uh, removed it from the PC. And that means you're going to end up either having to fix it or reinstall Windows. So be a bit mindful before you run these types of scripts on your system. It's not really designed for Windows 11 as of yet, so just be a bit careful with Windows 11 if you do run these types of things because there is going to be some bugs in that uh, type of script because it is really written for uh, Windows 10. Anyway, this video was created for those people that do like to run scripts and understand what they are and how to run them. And that's basically how you can run it on Windows 11. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely day, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.